everyone and welcome to your next episode of Cooking with Nicole. Tonight we're going to make a one pan baked asparagus and salmon dish. So you're going to have your meal all in one, uh, one sheet. So it's going to make it quick, it's going to make it easy, and not a whole lot of cleanup. So my kind of meal. So what we have here is um, one and a half pounds of salmon filet. And so it came, um, this side, it was a side of salmon, uh, was all in one piece. And so what I did is I came through and I cut it into four pieces here to make four individual fillets. Um, I have six cloves of garlic that I've gone ahead and minced myself. I used a little grater and grated the uh, cloves of garlic down into a minced garlic. We have a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese a pound of asparagus that has already been washed and the ends have been trimmed off. So you wanna always trim the dry ends off about an inch to an inch and a half of the ends of asparagus because they get dry and hard and kind of woody. And so you wanna get rid of that before you go ahead and cook them. So we have a pound of asparagus. I have uh, four tablespoons of melted butter and then just some seasonings here for all of our food. So what we're gonna do uh, is start out by preheating your oven at 400 degrees. So my oven has been preheating for a little while. Um, so it's done before we get started with the video and it beeps in, in, the, main, in the midst of the video prep. Um, and what you wanna do is pat dry the pieces of salmon so that your seasoning and the oil that you're going to be putting on the top of it sticks nicely. Now this salmon does have the skin still left on it and you want to leave the skin on on the bottom side. Once it's done cooking, it should peel right off when you sit down to scoop it up off the pan and put it onto your plate, that skin should fall off. If it doesn't, it peels off pretty easily when you're getting ready to eat it. So we're just pat and dry our salmon. Um, and then you're going to want to take your garlic and add it to your melted butter and let those two steep together a little bit as you season your salmon with some salt and pepper so we're just going to stir this in nicely together so this is going to have a really nice garlicky flavor when we're all said and done with this and so you're just going to salt and pepper your salmon fillets. Get them good coated. So they have a little bit of a crust on them as they cook. And then your salt. And then you're gonna take a pastry brush and you're going to brush the garlic and butter onto the fillets. And you want to make sure that you're coating the top side and the sides so you get a good even coating on it. And make sure you heat that garlic right up on top of there because that is all of the good stuff there. So I'm gonna actually kind of like scoop and brush all of this on here. Like I said, you want to get all sides of the fish. So all of the sides of the fish here. So you would continue to do that. And once that's all complete, then you're going to put the fillets onto your baking sheet and leave some room on the ends and in between the pieces of salmon. Once that's done, you're going to then put your asparagus in those blank spots. So I'm just going to add about two to three tablespoons of olive oil to the top of our asparagus here. 
and we're going to season it with some Montreal steak seasoning. You know, you might be like, really, it's Montreal steak seasoning? This is one of my most favorite seasonings for asparagus, especially when you put it on the grill. It gets this awesome garlic, salt, and pepper uh, flavor to it. It's super yummy. So we're gonna use that. And once you get everything kind of tossed around here and get all of the, the seasonings and the oils well combined on the asparagus spheres here, so it's all good and coated. We're going to just put those down onto the baking sheet as such. And we'll take our filet here and lay that skin side down onto the baking sheet. And you're gonna continue to do that, like I said, with each of the filets. And then once that is all complete, we're going to sprinkle our shredded Parmesan cheese down onto the top of each of the filets and onto the asparagus. You're gonna take the pan and put it in the oven and you're gonna bake it for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees or until the salmon is good and flaky. One key thing to remember is make sure to use more of a medium or a thin uh, variety of asparagus versus the really big fat pieces of asparagus because asparagus, asparagus is going to take a little more time to cook. And so you don't want to use really fat pieces of asparagus. It may make the fish drier because you're trying to cook the asparagus um, until it's more of that al dente texture. So make sure that you use a thinner to a medium uh, size asparagus so that everything is evenly cooked. This is going to be a super easy meal. I'm super excited how wonderful this is going to take. The garlic smells amazing right now. I'll have the nutrition facts information posted for you at the end of the video. It's super good, super easy, and this is your sweet meal for tonight. I hope you all have a great evening.